In last video, we talked about how to feed a biomass fuel into the chain grids boiler. So you may ask that can I use my own coal-fired boiler to fire biomass? The answer is yes. But does it work well? Unfortunately, not. So what are the problems if we use a coal-fired boiler to burn biomass? Let's figure this out today. First, let's see the main differences between coal and biomass. Number one, volatile matter. Volatile matter is a combustible matter in the fuel. We can easily understand in this way. The higher volatile matter, the easier burning. Biomass contains higher volatile matter, so it burns faster than coal. The burning speed of biomass is 1.5 to 2 times faster than coal. So the chain grid transferring speed is faster than coal. Biomass boiler furnace temperature is higher and it needs alloy steel. Normal cast iron chain grids will be damaged. Biomass combustion consumes more oxygen than coal, which requires secondary air. More air volume requires larger combustion space, which means the furnace should be higher. You can change the auxiliaries, but it's impossible to change a furnace after the boiler is complete. The combustion efficiency will not be good without any of these factors. Someone may say that I can compromise on the efficiency, I just want the boiler work. Yes, it may work, but there are other problems. We will have to know another big difference between coal and biomass, which is ash. Actually, coal contains higher ash content by biomass, but coal ash can be easily removed from the boiler. Why? Because the melting point of coal ash is as high as 1200 centigrade. The temperature of our furnace is below 1150 centigrade, which cannot reach the melting point. So the coal ash can be kept granular and good fluidity. It can be cleaned by multi-tube dust remover easily. The biomass ash is very light and it's suspended in the air. The melting point of biomass ash is low, only 850 centigrade. When the furnace temperature is high, the ash will be melted into coke and the coke will sticky to the convection tubes, economizer and dust remover, which will block everywhere. It will take a lot of manpower and energy to clean ash and coke. Maybe the low efficiency and all the troubles are acceptable for you. But don't forget, boiler is a system work. Each part links with each other. For example, when the furnace is bigger, it means air intake is bigger and the ID fan should be bigger and the dust remover should be bigger. Even the air pipes should be bigger. Of course, the differences between biomass-fired boiler and coal-fired boiler is more than that. For example, the biomass-fired boiler convection tubes needs to be cleaned every few hours with powerful soot blower. All this should be considered during design. If you have a coal-fired boiler and you are thinking to change it into biomass boiler, you will find that almost everything needs to be changed. Feeding, furnace, chain grates, ID fan, dust removers, it will be so much cost. So why don't you contact us? We will customize your own biomass boiler.